This model Samsung is a model DWR2031US. This particular unit is also going to be under $600. And what's kind of unique about this is Samsung has taken the best of both worlds. They're using plastic inside, which is cost effective, and they're using stainless steel on the door, which helps to minimize noise impact on the door. So this can be a little bit better insulated and it's gonna maintain a little bit more heat here on the door. The bottom rack, pretty wide open, pretty standard. Uh, you can put cookie sheets along the left or along the front. Plates will line up left to right. The top rack here is also great for, and as I reach up and over, this is gonna be great for wine glasses. What's kind of unique about this though, is in terms of an adjustment, you have to remove the rack. So what you do is you lift up on the left and right side without any dishes in, of course, because it'll be, you know, very, very heavy. And then go ahead and just adjust it down. You've got an adjustment here or here, and then go ahead and, and make that adjustment. So it's a little bit different than what we had seen on the Beko or on the Whirlpool where we had tabs that would allow us to uh, adjust it up or down, but this unit does offer adjustability as well. Three level wash. We've got a wash arm on top, one in the middle and one on the very bottom. And then our cycles are here at the top, just like we had seen on the Whirlpool with an automatic cycle, which is a great cycle on this. It's gonna automatically determine how much time, how clean or dirty the wash water is with a built-in turbidity sensor, and also what the actual type. So if your, your water is not gonna be really, really dirty, that's gonna cut down on our time. So that's the advantage of that turbidity sensor. If you have any questions about these or any other appliances, please comment below. Thank you for watching.